In this GlowShift Gauges installation video, we'll show you how to install a GlowShift 7 Color Series diesel gauge package into your 1994 to 1997 Dodge Ram Cummins 5.9 liter 12 valve. When you're ready, grab your tools and we'll meet you in the garage. For the purpose of this installation, we'll be using a 1996 Cummins 12 valve to install our gauges. For safety, disconnect both negative battery terminals before starting any work on the truck. Start by using an 11 mm wrench to remove the boost port plug on the driver's side of the intake manifold under the intake horn. Wrap the boost line adapter with Teflon tape. Place the adapter into the manifold and tighten using an 11 mm wrench. Place the female brass fitting onto one end of the boost line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing towards the motor to prevent any leaks. Then connect it to the boost line adapter and tighten using a 3 8 inch wrench. To install the exhaust temperature probe, Locate a flat portion of the exhaust manifold and use a punch to mark the location for drilling. Starting with a small drill bit, drill a hole in the manifold, increasing the bit size until the size R is reached. Use a shop vac and pen magnet to clean up the metal shavings. Use a 1 8 to 27 MPT tap to thread the hole. Cutting oil can be used to make threading the hole easier. Use a pen magnet and shop back to remove any metal shavings that may have fallen into the manifold. Apply anti-seize to the EGT probe adapter, insert it into the manifold, and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Insert the exhaust temperature probe into the adapter. Ensure that the depth of the probe is approximately halfway into the manifold, and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Connect the braided EGT gauge harness wire to the sensor harness wire. If you purchase the gauge package with a fuel pressure gauge, remove the factory banjo bolt from the injection pump on the driver's side of the engine. Insert the fuel pressure sensor into the banjo bolt snubber adapter and tighten them using 19 mm and 22 mm wrenches. Place one crush ring washer onto the banjo bolt. Place the bolt through the fuel line and place the second crush ring washer onto the bolt. Insert the banjo bolt into the injection pump and tighten it using a 19 mm wrench. Connect the sensor harness wire to the sensor.
If you purchase the gauge package with a transmission temperature gauge, start by applying Teflon tape to the transmission temperature sensor and insert it into the test port extender. Tighten them using 14 mm and 17 mm wrenches. Apply Teflon tape to the test port extender. Attach the female silver connector and the longer rubber cover to one end of the green wire from the gauge wiring harness. Then attach the male silver connector and short rubber cover to the end of the black wire from the gauge wiring harness. Remove the test port plug from the passenger side of the transmission using an 11 mm socket. Be sure to have a drain pan ready to catch any fluid that may drain from the transmission. Insert the test port extender and temperature sensor into the test port and tighten using a 17 mm wrench. Connect the female connector with the green wire to the white wire from the sensor. and the male connector with the black wire to the black wire from the sensor. Run the wires to the top of the engine bay, securing them away from any moving parts or excessive heat sources. Once all of the sensors have been installed, run all the sensor wires to the driver's side of the firewall keeping them clear of any hot or moving parts. Attach a ring terminal connector to the black wire from the transmission temperature sensor. Connect the wire to a clean, reliable grounding source in the engine bay. Feed the sensor wires through an open grommet in the firewall and into the cabin of the vehicle. Be sure to keep them away from any moving parts. To install the gauges, start by removing the factory pillar. Place the pillar pod on top of the factory pillar, making sure the top edge of the pod aligns with the top edge of the pillar. With a pod on the pillar, Drill a hole in each corner of the pod using a 732nd inch drill bit. Use the included push-in fasteners to secure the pod to the pillar. Then, drill a larger hole under each cup for the gauge wires to pass through the pillar.
Apply Teflon tape to the fitting on the back of the boost gauge and attach the boost line adapter. Tighten using a 13 mm wrench. Feed the wires for the boost gauge through the pod and insert the gauge into the cup. Next, feed the wiring harness for the EGT and transmission temperature gauges through the pod and place each gauge into the cups. Using the red wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the red wires together. Using the yellow wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the yellow wires together. Using the orange wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the orange wires together. Using the black wire from the wiring harness, connect all of the black wires together. Use zip ties to clean up the wires. To install the gauge pod onto the pillar, feed the sensor harness wires up through the dash and to the pod location. Remove the gauge cluster dash trim to gain access to the headlight switch. Remove the headlight switch. Run the red, yellow, and black power wires from the pod down through the dash and to the fuse box location. Feed the orange power wire through the dash to the headlight switch location. To connect the boost line to the back of the boost gauge, run the boost line through the pod. Place the brass nut over the line followed by the brass ferrule fitting. Ensure the ferrule fitting is facing the gauge to prevent any leaks. Place the boost line into the adapter and tighten the nut onto the gauge using a 3 8 inch wrench. Plug the EGT sensor harness wire into the back of the exhaust temperature gauge. Using a wire connector, connect the green wire from the transmission temperature sensor to the green wire from the gauge power harness wire. Place the pod onto the pillar. Ensure that the bottom of the pod is fully tucked into the dash 
and that the pillar clips are securely fastened. In order to test for power, reconnect the negative battery terminals. To enable the dimming feature, use a test light to locate a wire that receives 12 volt power when the headlights are turned on. Attach a wire tap to the headlight wire. Then, attach a wire connector to the orange wire from the gauges and plug it into the tap. Reinstall the panel and the dash trim. For this installation, we'll be powering the gauges using expandable circuits, which can be purchased through our website. Using a test light, locate a fuse that receives constant 12 volt power. Then, locate a fuse that receives 12 volt power when the ignition is turned on. Attach the first expandable circuit to the yellow wire from the gauges. Remove the constant 12 volt fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Attach the second expandable circuit to the red wire from the gauges. Remove the 12 volt ignition fuse, place it into the circuit, and place the circuit into the fuse's location in the fuse box. Remove the dash kick panel under the steering wheel to gain access to the grounding source. Connect the black ring terminal wire from the gauges and reinstall the panel. Lastly, top off your transmission fluid if necessary and power your gauges to ensure that everything is working properly. You've now successfully installed your GlowShip diesel gauge package into your truck. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please contact us at 1-888-GS-GAUGE and we'll see you on the road.